Introduction The world famous blast on August 23rd a few years ago which was believed to have been caused due to sparks originating from welding leading to heavy build up of hydrocarbons in a pipeline This led to the blast and collapse of the cooling tower Investigation showed later that the people involved did not consider the cooling tower as hazardous and therefore welding operation was being performed the result a fatal accident lack of knowledge in hazardous area classification can be very serious and fatal causing irrevocable damage to life and property what is hazardous area classification or hac how did the term come into existence decades ago there would be frequent accidents in coal mines and petrochemical industries due to the use of ordinary equipment like lamps in coal mines methane would cause fire damp and the proximity of ordinary electrical equipment would trigger an explosion these are the basic requirements for ignition to happen you need an ignition source like a burning splinter a spark or even a hot surface in the surroundings the fuel it can be any material which can feed the fire and an oxidizer for us the most abundant oxidizer is oxygen if we introduce an ignition source in proximity to a potential fuel here it is the flammable material in the presence of oxygen and in the right proportions of mixture ignition can happen so if one were to remove either ignition source or fuel or oxidizer ignitions can be prevented later on in this course we will study the proportions of mixtures the lower explosive limit and upper explosive limits in a recent incident involving an oil storage tank in a facility there was a catastrophic blast and explosion leading to huge damages at this facility the oil containers were designed to have floating roof tank tops within which flammable solvents were stored these tanks are sealed at the rim using a mechanical shoe as shown in the image to check the egress of volatile solvent vapors they are designed and built such that these rim seals do not prevent the volatile vapor from escaping the floating roof tank moves up and down in accordance with the level of liquid contained in them during a heavy thunderstorm blast sounds were initially heard from two oil storage tanks which then immediately caught fire leading to massive losses what do you think went wrong in this situation if the free vapors escape and find an ignition source an explosion can occur the ignition source can be as small as a spark from dropping that is free falling of a non insulated tool in the case of this facility the imperfections in the mechanical rim seal fire component lead to a poor contact of shunt between the roof top and shell causing the vapors to escape the vapors once they leaked out form an explosive atmosphere around the leak and on finding an ignition source from the lightning caused the fire and explosion what could have been done to avoid the incident the recommendations in this case are to earth the floating roof tanks every 30 meters with the earthing resistance of 0.03 ohm to install submerged shunts and to install a foam based extinguishing system for class a flammable liquid storage tanks you could read further about such incidents from the following references